The new Audios Property Pane is a brand new addition to DaVinci Resolve 19. Previously, configurations for audio were just a text menu, as you can see here. But now we can visually represent each channel and different configurations. So let me quickly show you that new menu. So clicking on whatever file that we have audio, uh, we can come over and we can click on file. And right here is the new audio configuration pane. As you can see, we have a couple of different formats. I'll talk about that in a second, but we can get an idea of the whole track skimming through it like this. And we can see each individual channel represented here. And we can scroll over to here that individual channel. We can see that there is currently eight channels here for the 7.1. If we were to drag this with this current configuration, this is going to be a single track, but is going to be configured for 7.1. So if I bring it down, we can see that one track at 7.1. If we were to change this, let's click back on our track. And if we were to change this to mono, we will still have all eight channels, but we can see that now they are represented by mono tracks. So now dragging that in, we can see that now we have our 7.1, but they're all mono tracks. Additionally, let's go in there again. We can change this to adaptive. If we were to bring this in, we can see it represented down here by just an eight being adaptive. If you haven't taken my Fairlight course, the cool thing about adaptive tracks is we can take all eight channels and pass them through different bus configurations for different outputs, depending on you know, what we end up outputting on the deliver page, uh, but still using all eight tracks. So those are the new tools with DaVinci Resolve 19 using the new audio properties pane. If you have any questions about this new feature added into DaVinci Resolve 19 or any other new features added into DaVinci Resolve 19, I highly suggest going over to the post-production community, post pro list, where I'll be over there answering everyone's questions. If you're interested in learning how to use any of the other new updates, I highly suggest taking a look at the links in the description. But with that being said, my name is Justin Robinson. Thanks so much for watching. Till the next one, guys. See you.